how's it going everybody now the year is only about two weeks old and matthew who also goes under the john belushi of the coral reef and i've linked to all the videos we've shot with him under this persona so matthew and i have already done an amazing dive now sometimes these dives have these themes <clears throat> so you'd see a really large group or something like that and this dive had the theme of being a double poop dive and uh, two marine animals left pretty big turds right in front of our eyes and the first one is a turtle and the second one probably even more spectacular is a sea cucumber so this is a green turtle here and uh, it's grazing into the seagrass and what's the end product of all of this grazing a massive piece of feces so what you see here and i don't think there's a lot of footage of this at all is turtle feces it's green like the seagrass i'm not sure what these white strings are if this is turtle intestinal mucus this was about as thick as a standard baguette so this is a massive piece of feces which was laying around in the seagrass here a piece of natural history which i will remember for a long time what do we have here we have a crinoid so in between the turtle poop and the sea cucumber poop we saw a lot of amazing other things in this crinoid, which is distant to, related to starfish, is a crinoid shrimp, uh, a, a crinoid squat lobster, really. And um, this is a crustacean which is completely evolved to camouflage itself onto that crinoid. So look at the colors of these crustaceans, especially on the shapes of its patternings, especially on its claws and it is totally matching this echinoderm host. If you don't have a decent video light and if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, you're never gonna find these. So the, the body, the carpus of this uh, Karina squat lobster is probably about a centimeter in length and uh, the claws another centimeter in length. So this is a tiny animal which is colored and patterned exactly like its host. It's spending its whole life there. You can see how it's fitting in. Now, this is a super cool piece of aesthetic video art, which I came across and managed to film. So this is a mantis shrimp, which is a stomatopop crustacean, which uh, took refuge in the center of this mollusk snail um, shell, you know, so this was broken up, the, the snail was dead already, and this mantis shrimp made the center its home. More echinoderms, we have a sea urchin, and this is a so-called decorator urchin. So you see all the tube feet of this sea urchin stick out. It was particularly active. There was a considerable amount of current on that day. And here you see a close-up of these tube feet. So that's not in an aquarium. That's uh, in its natural environment. And it's moving these pieces of seagrass and of sediment around. This is both camouflage and it's also there to weigh the animal down in the presence of strong currents. Okay, back to the fish. This is a fang blenny. These fang blennies are tiny, so probably about five centimeters in length, but they are vicious fishes. And they have these long fans. It actually, it significantly hurts to get bitten by these. And this fang blenny decided to make this invertebrate tube which was covered by a sponge it's home okay more fish here these are panda anemone fish and as the name implies they live in an anemone but they're not the only ones living in this anemone so here this is a porcelain crab which is actually fairly closely related to the crinoid squat lobster which we saw before and 
you can see how it's using its filter feeding arms to get plankton out of the water column. So it's, it's sitting on the edge of this anemone and it's uh, putting these nets which its arms evolved into into the current and it's picking out pieces of plankton. So a spectacular animal really, very beautifully colored. Look at all these tiny dots. And they're, they're very active, especially when the current is so strong and um, they uh, share these anemones with other shrimp. So tiny translucent shrimp, less than a centimeter in length. So there were at least three species of crustaceans on this anemone. Now, what else do we have? We have this large puffer fish. This is towards the end of the dive near an artificial reef in front of the El Dorado resort in Darwin. And these large puffer fish, they're used to divers, so they let me come really close. Uh, we were both struggling a little bit in the current. Two of these, probably half a meter in length, beautiful, intelligent fish and they made this large wire artificial reef structure their home here. So here you can see how they're turning into the reef, looking around, you know, they're the kings of this artificial reef system there. Um, beautiful fish, and you can very clearly see how they're using their dorsal fin and the pectoral fins, mainly for propulsion. The current was strong, but it was not extremely strong, so, so this rather clumsy way of swimming, which these puffer fish employ, uh, this is a way of swimming which is really more towards uh, maneuvering than towards powerful swimming. It still worked. Now, here, this is the highlight of this video. So, this is a very large sea cucumber. Uh, how large is it? about the size of my leg so i can squat about 180 kilos and uh, this is the size of my leg what did this sea cucumber do there when we found it it defecated and defecated a huge sausage of sand poop out here we go it's spectacular and so what these do, they ingest the sand and then they digest everything that's edible in the sand and you know, out comes the clean sand basically. Amazing creatures, a little bit like the worms in the Dune movies. And um, this was such an active animal here, whoop, out it goes, mission complete. Uh, you can see it met in the background, beautiful animals. Matt does not shy back for the sake of science from picking up a little bit of that sea cucumber feces. Uh, here again you see the, the proud sea cucumber in front of some of its poop. One of the curious things about these animals is that their respiratory system is near its anus in its digestive tract. So, so the anus actually opens and closes, like you can see here. Hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments. And see you next week.